Welcome to my channel. My name's Chastine and I'm documenting my journey to becoming a better homemaker and overall human being, one day at a time. And today, you're actually going to see that process two days at a time because not only am I going to show you what I'm adding to my morning routine to be mindful of my physical health, I'm also going to show you the night routine I'm implementing to make my morning routine more likely to happen. So it's only been a couple of days since I decluttered and reorganized my entryway, but <clears throat> so far I've been pretty consistent about straightening it up at night, which because I'm doing it every day only takes a couple of seconds. After that, I move on to the dining room table, which is a big hot spot in our house. And tonight, it isn't looking too shabby, to be honest, at least compared to how cluttered it normally gets. But I haven't put away the things we bought at Ollie's earlier in the day yet. And if there's one thing I've learned after 36 some odd years on this planet, it's that small messes turn into big messes, always and in the blink of an eye. So while the old chesting would have happily let this stuff sit on the table until either the need for each individual item came up organically or somebody was coming over for dinner and I decided to just nip this whole process in the bud here and just go ahead and put everything away tonight. So in the store, I was staring at this cup trying to figure out what it was saying for a hot minute. I saw the star first and my brain went to astronomy because that's how my mind works. And since Jay already has a t-shirt bemoaning the loss of Pluto's planethood status, that's what I wanted this message to be about. And I think I was trying to make this shape on the side into a telescope or something like that, <clears throat> but it just wasn't making any sense. And Jay had to come over and be like, honey, that's a cannon. And I was like, oh, that makes more sense. So here I'm adding my new straws and Jay's new cup to the dish pile. And I'm adding my new wet brush to the gym bag so I don't have to keep taking my old one back and forth or won't have to keep taking it when I do start going back to the gym. And now I'm going to set up the coffee for the morning because no morning routine is complete without coffee. Or rather, no morning routine can be started without coffee. to tackle that dish pile.
got a load running in the dishwasher, I decide to finally try out the first step in the Fly Lady process that I've been avoiding, even though I've been trying out some of her, like all her other routines, which is shining your sink. I've been putting this one off because um, our sink is broken. We're waiting on somebody to come fix it. And I just, it didn't feel like it was worth it to shine my sink and go to the process of drying it because it's going to immediately get wet again. Um, but tonight I was like, you know what? I, I can at least shine my sink. I can do that much. And it needs to be cleaned even if it's not shiny and dry. After that, I do a quick sweep of the kitchen and set myself up for success by putting a load of laundry on top of the washer so it's ready to go in the morning for my routine. The rest of the laundry room is looking less successful, but hey, baby steps. After that, I go to the bathroom and lay out only what I'll need in the morning and put the rest away so that I can hopefully do a quick wipe down of everything in the morning. And then I go ahead and lay out my outfit or, well, put it up on the back of the door so that I can change into it first thing in the morning. Yes, it's just pajamas, but they are clean pajamas, so it counts. And then I'm ready for a good night's rest, knowing that I'm all set up to go for my cleaning routine in the morning without having to think about it too hard. The next morning, I wash my face and get ready for the day. The only thing I'm putting on makeup-wise is some brow pencil because I feel like it just makes such a difference. When I'm dressed, I go back and make my bed. And today, I'm putting the stuffed animals Jay got for me while we were dating on the bed, which I like to do from time to time when I can remember. Now, on this morning, Jay was already awake when I got up, so he already had the coffee made by the time that I came out, which is definitely the first thing I would have done if I'd been the first one up. Before I go any further, I take my allergy pills because I am a stubborn person who is both very allergic to cats but refuses to live life without one. To me, it's a small price to pay. I mean, other than how much I spend on tissues a year, which if you've been paying attention to my house so far, you'll know is a small fortune.
So after I finished putting away the dishes I did from the night before, I go ahead and make our waters for the day so we can stay hydrated. When I've got the hydration situation handled, I do a quick wipe down of surfaces that I continue on into the bathroom where I go ahead and I also do my least favorite chore, you guessed it, cleaning the toilet. Now that my least favorite parts of my morning routine are over, I am ready to move on to the new habit I'm trying to implement today, which is to do a minimum of some sort of intentional movement for at least 10 minutes every day. Today, I'm just gonna go with a quick yoga video. It's a cold chance video, I love this one. It is conveniently a 10 minute morning stretch, which is perfect for what I'm looking to start out for. I find it fairly challenging for my level. I know other people would be really easy, but it's, it's a good level for me because while it is challenging, I do feel like I can do it. She's also very encouraging, and sometimes I just need that in the morning. It doesn't take long for Tucker to join me, which I'm sure will not surprise you if you have pets, or I'm, I'm guessing children would be the same. And now I'm ready to do the last part of my morning routine that the fly lady recommends, which is writing out your to-do list for the day, which I'm not about to do without some coffee. And of course, a little encouragement from a handsome fellow doesn't hurt either. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you want more motivational homemaking content, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.